welcome so welcome after a long time so from now onwards i will continue my stm32 microcontroller series but this time i will start with the new board because in future we need to do some interface on hardware right and at that time we need two hardware so initially i have used the 144 board and now i have purchased this hardware also this is stm32 f 103 c8 blue p it's very compact board and is available online it is very cheap compared to nucleo 144 board this board is having another advantage its size right its size is very small so you can interface this with your uh, any other hardware as per your requirement if your project is specific if your application is specific then you can go with this blue pill hardware now this hardware is uh, having very small size and you can see descriptions uh, is available so you have micro usb connector you have four pins like ground clock io and 3.3 so we will use this four pin to program this board right we have a uh, power and lead which will indicate that this board is uh, having a uh, means this board is uh, on or off right and another led is red that this is called user led and this user led is connected with pc 13 so initially first experiment we will do with this led this is very simple led blinking program okay. so this using this led blink code we can understand how to load the program on this board right and then later on we will uh, develop some more complex application right here you can see this is the mcu having lqft package right this is reset button and these two jumpers so these two jumpers are given so using this jumper you can set the mode of the board right whether the board is in programming mode or the, or the board is in uh, running mode right so we will uh, see this in future right now this are the specifications of the board you can see memory gpio pin timer pwm analog i2c uart spi right it's very rich as uh, if you will compare this with nucleo 144 board then you can see many of Uh, such interfaces are there with this board also right and it's, again it's very cheap so definitely this will be very very useful uh, if you if you don't want to learn this stm and if you don't want to go with the uh, this uh, big hardware right a uh, costly hardware then you can go with this and same program or same uh, id it will use and same uh, you know coding sequence will use and we will uh, see that how you can program this board right okay? so all the things are same now here you can see uh, in this two images only jumpers position is different right in first you can see both boot 0 and boot 1 are uh, on the same position and this mode is called running mode so let us uh, say one code is already there on this and if you will simply set this position and press reset then this board will start running that code and if you want to program this so you have to simply change this boot zero jumper position from zero to one then press reset and then you can simply load your program so during programming mode code will not execute and during running mode you cannot load the program okay and last thing as i told you earlier that we will use this four pin right so for that i am using this stlink v2 programmer right so this program is also available online i purchased this from amazon i also purchased this board also from amazon and both the things are available and you can connect this board with this programmer using this uh, type of wires right and here you can see on this programmer pin description is given so you can simply see that our swdio means it's a simple io so io is connected with the io of the board ground is connected with the ground sw clock is connected with the clock okay and 3.3 is connected with 3.3 simple four wires are there and using this connection 
you can easily load your program from your pc to the board so you have to connect this programmer with your uh, system okay and then you have to use this st link utility so this utility is also you can download from this st.com i have already downloaded it and i have opened this right so using this st link utility we will going to load our program on the uh, this blueprint board okay so now first let us start writing the code and then we will upload this so for that again i am using stm this uh, new ide okay i have already uh, selected the board so for to select the board you have to simply click on new stm to project right and then you have to select the part number as a part number is this stm 32 f103c8 so you have to select write this over here and you can select the board i have already selected it so i am not i will not repeat this and uh, here you can see this is the hardware so we have to simply provide the clock okay and our led is connected with pc13 you can see pc13 is a user led so we will only use pc13 okay so let's check where this pc13 is there this is a b pc13 right So you have to simply set this as a PCIO output because LED is there. Okay. So now things finished, right? Now simply generate the code. Let us check other thing. Clock project, right? And now simply generate the code. So it will generate the code as per our configuration, right? As per our selection. And now we have this main dot c file, right? So this is our code. now as we already know this is the function gpio output write pin so we will use this function okay and if we can see e13 port c so this is the user led pin so if simply we will put this in while one reset set okay and we will use some delay let us use Twenty thousand delay, and again, so this is while one, so infinite loop. So it will simply turn off this uh, user LED, wait for twenty thousand count, then set the LED, wait for twenty thousand count, and this process will execute continuously, right? So now let me debug this. Check for the any error is there or not, and then we will simply generate the exodus number five. You can see zero error. Now go for the property. Now we need hex file, so we have to simply use this post build option. Select convert hex file, apply this, and now release this target. So it will generate a uh, one folder, and in this folder, it will generate hexadecimal file. Uh, 
Okay. 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 So now you can see the board, right? This is the board. This is the programmer. I connected with this type of cable, which I already explained you, right? And now I am going to connect this with my laptop. Now this is in programming mode, right? So you have to simply select this connect to target, and it will connect with this board, right? Here you can see. Now, to upload the program, you have to simply click on File, Open File, provide the path. So I already copied the path, right? This is blue pin. Select this, and now this is the option to connect with the target. This is for disconnection. This is to erase the full chip, right? You can erase the memory of this chip, and this is for the programming. To program this board, so you have to select this. Click on Start. Here you can see now code is already there on the board web, on on this board. So now we will. I will simply change the position of this jumper. And simply reset this chip, and you can see. Here also you can see now this is in programming mode, so you still cannot load your program. But this LED is on and off with the interval of around two seconds, right? So this is how you can load your program on this board. Again, if you want to change anything, simply change over here. Then get the hex file. Again, change the position of this jumper from running to programming. Connect the board, load the program, change the position from programming to running, and press the reset, and it will work accordingly. In future, we will also see other such program where we will use these GPIOs, right? We will use this. Uh, specifications right we will go with i2c we will see analog digital converter timer everything right and we have one nuclear 144 board also so we, we will also see the experiment related to interface between these two boards so this is what for the today's video if you like my work then please support me by liking my video and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much